All right, so on the back of a poncho timing cover, um, timing chain cover, there's supposed to be two little dowels that go in here, and obviously ours are missing. And as you can see, it's stepped. So there's a, an indent where something can be put in there, and then it's a little bit more. So now we take some calipers, and let's measure and see if we can't make some of our own using what we have on hand, which is a uh, tin can. Let's find out here. We'll zero this out. We'll come in, we'll see how wide that is. Looks to be about 12, about 12.36. So let's say 12.4, cause there's a little bit of a room there. So 12.35 millimeters. I guess I'm using millimeters. So the distance across is about 12.4 millimeters. Then, then the depth, we'll check the depth here. Let's zero that out. We'll see how big that lip is. And that lip's about 4.5 millimeters. And so 4.5, and you want just a little bit to come up. So we'll say six millimeters tall by about 12.4 millimeters across. So let's see what we can do now. Got us a tin can. The first one we'll do is we'll cut that open. Use our Dremel, use some safety glasses. Now we'll cut it down in the middle there. So because it wants to curl this way, I said we make our markings and let it twirl in. If we take the circumference, which we said was what about 12.4, so about 25 millimeters in length, which is about an inch. So we'll come off of uh, this side here. And we probably want to double that just for the thickness because of the, the tin here. So let's go two inches and we'll see what happens. Two inches is right about there. Okay, so do our best to kind of line that up. We'll put uh, two inches over here as well. And again, we don't have to be too technical. We just want to kind of get into play there. Okay, now, since we got that, that's our length double. So we'll go around two times. Then, that's going this way. Then, we know that the depth of it is supposed to be about six millimeters. So... The width then is going to be about a quarter of an inch. So we'll bring this over here. So that'll be a quarter. Okay. Figured I'll use some tin snips here. Okay. So now we'll mark these down, just eyeballing them. OK, 
Okay, so I made lines for two. Now, There's one. There's two. Bring this back. And there's one. Roll these up. And there's two. Okay, cool. So they fit there. Now let's see if they'll fit in the block. So move this out of the way. We'll come down in here. Oh yeah. I think those will fit. I think these will do the trick. Mm -hmm.